Wow. Good morning from snowy England. Mrs. Little's garden looks slightly different this morning. Everything is looking just a little bit sorry for itself. What are you doing, Jasper? Hey, is it cold for you as well? Is it? Well, thankfully, we've had a tiny bit of precipitation, at least. But only a tiny bit. A spring day in the Cotswolds. Not like the spring day last week, when it was over 70 degrees, 23 degrees. I think I'll go up through here for a change. A racket in the background of a tractor. Well, here we are in a field of what is supposed to be oilseed rape. But I reckon the uh, bloom will have been nipped in the bud by the cold weather. If you're looking for a footpath in the Cotswolds, cross private land through the middle of crops without getting shot. Oh my. Farmers actually cut a path. The poor little oil seed rape flower hiding away for better days. And in the distance is Kemble Airfield, sometimes known as Cotswold Airport. I'll see if I can zoom in on that. And if you wonder where the Cotswold stone comes from, this field will have been ploughed and it just comes up like convection. Can you hear the skylark? The lark ascending. Back in a little copse again. Bird song sounds different in here. Gorgeous view from up here. In the distance there under those trees is Rod Martin Long Barrow, which is a prehistoric burial site. Lots of frozen yellow flower here. 
And that's a gorgeous view in the distance too. Just getting back to a more familiar location there. But I haven't actually walked very far, only a mile or so, so I may do something else. The road to Rod Martin. And I've always admired this barn conversion. Lovely house. So we're back to a uh, familiar spot on my walks. This does not look like it did a week ago when we had 73 Fahrenheit, 22 Celsius or thereabouts. Just had enough, um, enough of a flurry of snow to make it all look rather pretty. But it was cold last night. And the poor daffodils are looking rather sorry for themselves. But now I'm going to go up that lane over there and go somewhere I've only been once before because I haven't really walked far enough this morning. Here we go then, up around the back of Hazelton Manor. The horse here in the, in the field. That's the field with the long line of trees that I often take a photo of. Here they are, three of them there. You can see the fence, which is where the trees, long line of trees are. And then we have another one here. One of those familiar tunnels of trees. Would have been interesting to have been here when that one came down. Well, that's a J I can hear. Don't tend to see too many J's up in this part of the country. Used to be a lot down in Devon. Who would like to come on a socially distanced walk? You can't get much more socially distanced than this. So now I've got to go up over that field. You can hardly see that that's uh, the blackthorn flower on that hedge and not the snow. It's in disguise. That's the flower, not the snow. That's the snow. So nestled in this little valley, there is the lovely Hazelton Manor. I think I'm running saying the house goes back to the 1400s. And before that, there was a, a monastery here. 
gorgeous place to live. I'll have to invite you one day. It's very nice to be out in the country and hear the bird song, but I'm not so happy with the hammering or the planes. Or the mechanical tools. That line of trees at the end. There's a familiar road that I often walk on. When I say often, I mean very often. The lark is ascending again in the background. So back on the familiar road again, but only for a second. So to keep today's theme, which is a spirit of adventure, I'm going to veer off the road and across the farmland with one of Philip the friendly pheasant's friends. And then I will go down through the woodland over there back to my vehicle. Go on then. What are you doing? I'm the pheasant whisperer. Beautifully ploughed field full of stones. Looks like we have some wheat or something going in here. My journey this morning has taken me behind those trees in the far distance. Um, Lovely walk, actually. It has noticeably warmed up. I'm not sure what the temperature is right now, but uh, it's well above freezing. So finally, this uh, little stretch of woodland is a pheasant breathing area, which is why you see so many pheasants around here that have escaped. I'm not going to uh, disclose why they are being bred. The subject is much too controversial. So we, here we are, back at the car. I have to say that the evidence of the snow has virtually gone. So I did 8,700 steps, three and a half miles, and I hope you like this video. I know everybody says this, but uh, do leave a comment. Do give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, well, I guess it's a thumbs down. And uh, I'd love you to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see other silly videos like this. Bye for now.